Okay, so we will begin the process by typing the following. The name of the exploit, which may or may not work in your case, depending on the patch level of the system that they're trying to connect to. We're going to set the payload, which will be interpreter slash first TCP then we're gonna set some options IP address of the remote host and the IP address of the current system and finally exploit You can type help to see a list of commands. Then we can begin executing our functions. First, we type ps to list the executables that are running. And we look for the explorer process, which is running on. process number 3084. We type migrate 3084 and we can start our functions. Use ESPIA. Now I can show you a remote desktop of a system. I will connect to the machine using remote desktop and you can see that there's no visible indication that we've connected to the system we can type screenshot and what this will do it will attempt to get an image of the desktop to our machine if we open up our local path here We should see. Let's try it again. The reason why we're getting this is because we've connected to the machine via remote desktop. Remember, this has to be a local session. So I will close the remote desktop and pause the video and execute the command again. This time we should get something because we've logged on to the machine locally and not using RDP. There we go. So you do need to access the machine locally. The next thing we want to do is run a keylogger keyscan dot start and we're gonna attempt to enter some information onto the system so I've entered some information on the system we can then dump the information to the screen and this is what I've entered correctly if we run a screenshot on it
if you can see what I did. So there we go. When I entered the URL and when I entered some information in the text box. Now if you're attempting to do this, you may be unsuccessful the first time you run the exploit, but you just need to maybe run back the exploit a second time if you fail to connect or you fail to get the interpreter prompt. So I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing this tutorial.